Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be checking out the Hopkins molded seven-way trailer wire connector. It seems like when it comes to trailer wiring, it's just one of those things that you're constantly battling and it makes sense. You know, these trailers sit outside for a long time. You get people in there kind of making repairs on the fly and it's just one of those things that gets super annoying when all your lights don't work properly right and so what this is going to do is replace this beginning portion here so this is four foot long and it's going to allow you to tap into your existing wiring or new wiring that you already ran that way you can power everything up so this is going to be on your truck side it's just your standard seven way round type connector and that'll plug in plug into your trailer connector there uh, with it being a seven way it's going to give us all those functions so we'll have our uh, our, our electric brake output, your 12 volt auxiliary power, your tail lights, your reverse lights, your brake lights, your turn signals, and of course your uh, ground. So a couple of reasons why you would use a kit like this. One of them being if you're just redoing everything on the trailer, you know you're going to need a, an end to hook up to it. So that's where this will come into play. Or you're just going to exist, or I'm sorry, replace an existing wiring harness like we did and we even kind of upgraded I guess you could say this is our boat trailer wiring it's just a five-way flat and he was tired of you know using this adapter that plugs in and plugging into his seven way and that I mean this is kind of chewed up too, pretty bad shape but it just creates another point for something to fail more corrosion to happen and this wiring harness is pretty bad anyway I mean just about every spot you look, there's a broken wire, some type of uh, old repair, and it's, it was just time. It was time to uh, put all new stuff on. So by replacing all that junk with this, uh, we have something that's reliable, looks good, and is gonna work. And as far as the quality of it, I mean, it, it feels good. It definitely don't feel like, uh, like it's cheap by any means. It's super thick, real nice casing. And I said, this is molded. So it's almost uh, it's almost rubbery feeling as opposed to plastic, you know, cause you, you know, it never fails. You end up unhooking, you drop this down, it hits the ground, you step on it on accident, whatever. Like I said, we're hard on trailers. So this being kind of that rubber material, it's, we're not gonna have to worry about a piece chipping off of it and then allowing moisture to get inside and everything else. And it also, it looks like it's sealed up really well too. And uh, I think I mentioned before, you know, corrosion, that's kind of just the death of wiring. Once water and stuff gets in there and starts corroding, you know, that's kind of the end of it there. Um, so being sealed up real nice, definitely a bonus. And if you want to, you could take a step further and even this end here, you could always get some dielectric grease put some on the terminals every now and again, and uh, that'll ensure that these won't ever go bad. Something else I do wanna mention, it seems like it's pretty standard on, on most plugs, but not everyone. It does have some good finger pulls there. So you can get your hand on it and plug in and pull out with this, as opposed to just grabbing the cable. That way you don't end up ripping the connections out inside, because it does happen. So get in the habit of doing it this way. But other than that, you know, at the end of the day, not much to it. It's uh, well-built wiring connector and and hopefully uh, by replacing your old one this will last you a lot longer and uh, keep your lights working and in terms of the installation you know there's there's seven wires to hook up you may or may not use all of them uh, we didn't today but um, it's, it's going to be a little bit different for everyone's situation you know the trailers are there's really not a standard per se trailers are wired up a little bit different and everything else but I'll show you what we did with ours and hopefully that will at least give you some direction and a good idea on how to do yours. To begin your installation, uh, what I like to do first is take a look at your existing wiring, okay? And just write down or take a picture of it. That way you have a reference uh, before you cut it all off and have an idea on where things go. And uh, that way, if you need to come back to it, it's there. Right, and it's really just gonna depend on your particular setup too. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit different for everyone. But for example, today we have a boat trailer and our neighbor has a five-way flat connector and he was tired of dealing with it, not to mention it's in pretty rough shape, but more or less he was tired of having to take a five-way connector 
to a seven-way round and plug it into his truck. Uh, that because his truck didn't obviously have a five-way plug, and it's just trying to eliminate that. So by putting on our new wiring end, he's not going to have to deal with this stuff. All he's going to have to do is just take his connector and plug it into the truck. But well, with that said, if you redid all your wiring, and this is the last thing that you need to do. Um, essentially, you're just gonna hook it up. So really the main thing to watch out for is the color of the wires and what function they're going to control. So we have ours somewhat hooked up here. Why don't we take a look at it and kind of see what we got going on. So here's our seven-way, new seven-way connector in, getting hooked up to our existing trailer wiring. And like I said, yours might be a little bit different, but the concept is the same. And really what we're gonna be going over is what function or what, you know, what wire performs what, what function from our seven-way wiring. So there's a couple of them in our case that we won't be using. This is the black one and the blue one. That's because uh, we only, we don't have, we don't need these two functions. The black one will be your 12 volt auxiliary power so for those of you that might have a utility trailer on board that has a battery on it or um, you know pop-up camper with batteries that's what this would control this would charge in batteries if you have it all hooked up right obviously and then the blue wire coming from your seven-way plug that's going to be for your electric brakes all right so that's going to provide that brake output and send the power back to your electric brakes um, our trailer, it's a boat trailer, so we have surge brakes, which are hydraulic and don't use electricity. So we're not going to be worrying about that one either, but that's what you would hook this up to. And then that leaves us with this thick white wire. That's going to be your ground. So that'll just go to the chassis, a clean spot on the chassis. Um, a lot of times your, uh, you know, your trailer already has a spot somewhere in the coupler that you can just put a ring terminal on this crimp it too. Um, ours does, I'll show you a better look in a second. It was tucked back a little bit further there um, since we have the breakaway tongue here. So I just had to extend that wire. Not really a big deal as long as you have a good sufficient ground. And the, what we'll go with here, our red wire coming from the seven way, that is going to control your, um, that's going to control your left turn signal. All right, so that's going to be for the left side of your trailer. That's going to get the blinkers going and everything like that. And then in terms of uh, your brown wire here from your new seven way, that is going to control your right turn signal. So your blinkers there. And then the green wire from your seven way, that is going to control your tail lights, all right? So generally speaking, uh, you know, generally speaking for a lot of trailers, the trailer yellow, it's gonna be your left turn, trailer green, it's gonna be your right turn, and the brown, trailer brown, it's gonna be your, your tail lights. But like I said, that's why it's important to write all this stuff down, that way you can kind of keep track of it while you're going, because sometimes these colors can kind of throw you off. But that's, that's the, uh, the functions that our new seven way puts out, okay? And then that's going to leave us with our yellow wire, all right? And what this yellow wire is going to control, this is going to control your reverse light circuit. So in our case, some trailers you won't use this, uh, a lot of utility trailers and stuff you want, but with ours being a boat trailer, we actually have backup lamps and then we have a reverse, uh, uh, lockout for our surge brakes and so we will need to hook that up and I saved that one so we could show you how to actually do this so I'm using all these buck connectors here um, you can grab these at e trailer I like the heat shrink type ones because the ends seal up real nice and it helps prevent corrosion and things like that so the way these are going to work is going to strip back some of the insulation to expose that bare wire and give that wire a twist and then hook it up to the appropriate wires here. So with the yellow being our reverse, I have our reverse lights and our reverse lockout for our actuator there. I got them already connected into a buck connector. 
And so this is just gonna slide in the other end and you hold it down in there tight and then you're going to crimp it down. Squeeze it nice and tight, make sure the connection is good and that's how you're gonna make that connection. This being a heat shrink, I'm gonna go grab a heat gun and we'll come back and show you how to seal up the end. So these are pretty straightforward to seal up. You're just gonna put your heat source on it and you'll watch it shrink. And kind of work your way around it. And once it stops shrinking, you know we're all sealed up here. I talked about that ground earlier. Just here's a better look at it. If you do ground it, you want to make sure it's on a good clean surface. Our trailer actually already had a grounding stud in there, so I just utilized that. I did put a new ring terminal on it though. That way we just have a good clean ground and don't have to worry about any connection issues. What I went ahead and did was just take some electrical tape and tape everything up, right? Sealed everything up really nice just to help keep it protected and, and clean. And uh, now that this is done and all your wires are hooked up, probably not a bad idea just to plug it in and test it. That way you can make everything, make sure everything is working. So we'll just test our basic functions here. Uh, I'm using a test box. You can also use your truck. Just keep in mind if your truck has any issues that could translate over to this. So we'll just do a quick rundown here on our taillights, our left turn signal, our brake lights, and then we can check our right turn as well. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Hopkins 7-Way Molded Trailer Wire Connector.